praise the Lord. How many know, man, this has been a, this is this going man, from glory to glory to glory, amen? At this time, I think last all night prayer, I was, I was, I was feeling it, amen? But I, I feel like, I feel, I feel strong right now. I feel like, you know, I've been working out, come on, amen? Not physically, but, but spiritually been working out, amen? And I feel, I, man, I feel a second wind, amen? I feel, man, maybe it's the, the fasting or maybe, but man, fasting focuses you. Fasting, man, locks you in to what the Lord is doing. And, you know, man, it's, it's, all, it's already 3.33. Come on, amen. It's 3. <laughs> and, man, we, 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 got, we got healed at the first message. Come on, amen. We got, man, we got delivered. Things were canceled off of our life. Hey, come on, we got the power. At the second, we got the power. No power outage is here. And, man, we prevailed over souls. And now it's time to do something with that. God didn't just call it. That God didn't, man, he didn't heal us, save us, cancel things off of our lives, give us power, man, and to, and to pray and prevail for souls without doing something. But God, man, wants to take everything that we've been filled with and done and, and, man, and, and to begin to, man, do something. Not just to sit in our seat, but to get out of these four walls and begin to, man, minister before the Lord, minister to people. We're all ministers. Come on, amen. We're all ministers of the gospel. Come on, amen. Not, not, not one person is more. Man, we're, we're, man, we're ministers of the gospel. And I want to share about the heart of the ministry. You know, a heart for ministry. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Verse 1, it says this. It says, therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart. You know what? Losing heart is being discouraged. Have you ever been discouraged? Can I get an amen? It means to be weary. Have you ever been weary? Come on, amen. Or exhausted. You know what, sometimes God allows us to get weary and exhausted in ministry because we're doing it in our own strength. And see, what Paul was talking about, he says, therefore, having this ministry, this ministry is awesome. This ministry is great. The ministry we are involved in is amazing. Can I get an Amen. Give it up for your ministry. Paul says, therefore. That's like a declaration. He says, therefore. It's like in Hebrews, he says, therefore, while we are man, surrounded by such wit you know, man, wit great witnesses, therefore, I'm a, I'm a, we're cast off that sin that so easily entangles us. And let's run the course, the race marked out for us by Jesus Christ. Amen. It says, therefore, therefore is a reason for you to go forward. Therefore, Paul is referring to, back to something else. And in chapter 3, he says this, he says, man, he, he says this, he says, man, but our sufficiency. In verse 4, such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything for ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit gives life. Come on, amen. Of a new covenant. We're not ministers of an old covenant. We're not ministers of the old cloth. We're not ministers of the old wineskin, but we are ministers of the new covenant. We are ministers of the new cloth. We are ministers of the new wineskin. We are ministers of the new normal. Come on, amen. Not the old. There, there, there's, four, man, there's four basic old covenants. That's the Noahic covenant that Pastor was talking about with Noah. And that, you know, God said, hey, Man, I'm never going to flood the earth again. There's also the Abrahamic, sounds like I said hammock, Abrahamic covenant 
which, you know, God promised, you know, the, man, the nation of, you know, Abraham to the nation of Israel. And also there was the Mosaic covenant. Come on, amen, that the law came, right? He gave them the law that, man, brought salvation, you know, through the law. But also the Davidic kingdom or the Davidic covenant, that, man, there would be, there'd be always somebody on the throne in David's place. But let me tell you this, Jesus is the new covenant. Salvation through Christ is the new covenant. Man, the Holy Spirit, man, that's the new covenant. Man, grace, man, is the new covenant. Man, and that's open for everybody. And see, yet, no, now that there's, there's not going to be a flood anymore, but God is going to flood the earth with the Holy Spirit. Come on, amen. You know, Abraham, it was not just a chosen people, the Israelites, but now, now it's to all nations, all, gen, all, all people, all races, all creeds, all ethnicities. Man, it's to all the nations. And also to the Mosaic, man, salvation doesn't come through the letter of the law. But salvation comes through Christ only. It comes through grace. It comes through the Spirit of God. But also the Davidic kingdom. You know, man, the king is not on the throne, but Jesus Christ is on the eternal throne. And Paul goes on to explain about this ministry. He says, man, if, if the ministry that came, I like, I like how it says in, it says in verse uh, 7, it says, Now if the ministry of death, the ministry of death carved in letters of stone came with such glory. Man, that, man, that, man it came with glory. Man, the mountain... You know, Moses taking the, the tablets. If that ministry of death came with such glory, how much more the glory and the ministry of the Spirit? How much more glory is that? Man, see how, the, how these candles have faded? See, you know, we have a boldness. He goes on to say, we have a boldness, you know, because when Moses was exposed to the presence of God, he had to cover it with a veil. And see... It, 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 it faded like these candles. Come on, amen. They faded out. They burnt out. Some, some of you guys are these candles. You're burnt out right now. You, you're going to fall asleep right now. You're burnt. Come on, amen. You're, you're smoldering. But see, that's, that's of the old covenant. That's of the, that's of the old ministry. That's how we used to do ministry. But we our ministry, this is the new ministry. This, this is the, the new normal. This is, man, the, we are now ministers of a new covenant, of a, of a man, of a, new, of a new order. Come on, amen. Of a man, of a, a new wineskin, of a new cloth. See, this faded away. The law faded away. The, the letter faded away. But the spirit, it says, is permanent. We can have this all the time. This is permanent, baby. This doesn't fade. We may fade, but the Spirit never fades. The Holy Ghost never fades. Man, He never stops. He never, man, man He always keeps going, amen. And see, it's permanent. How much more, if the old covenant came in glory, how much more the new covenant of the Spirit, the, how much more exceedingly glory can it be? That's the ministry. See, I'm not talking about doing ministry, but I'm talking about doing, you know, or, you know, you know, having more heart to do the ministry. But I'm saying this, doing ministry in the right heart, doing ministry in the right spirit, doing ministry in the spirit. Come on, amen. Walking in the spirit. That's what we're talking about. He says, therefore, having this ministry, what ministry, man, is of the spirit, it says, since we have this hope, we are very bold. Not like Moses, who would put a veil over his face. Come on, man, when we leave this place, don't, don't hide what God is doing. Begin to show it. Begin to live it. Don't put the veil on. Take the veil off. Come on, amen. You're already married, amen. And it's, it's heavy. It says, man, even when the, the, the Moses is read today, a veil covers the people. Even the Jews today, man, they, when they read the law, man, it's, it's a co it, man, it covers them, it blinds them. It says this is, but when one turns to the Lord, come on, Pastor Chris, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the spirit, and we're the spirit of the Lord. There is freedom. There is freedom. You know what? It, I love the amplified version of freedom. It says to emancipation. Come on, emancipation proclamation. It means to be set, be, it means to, in the state of being set free. 
We got to proclaim emancipation. We got to proclaim freedom for the lost. We got to proclaim freedom for the captives. We got to proclaim, we got to minister. We have a heart for ministry. To do the work, what God has called. And Paul says, therefore having this ministry. And as I get ready to close, amen. Therefore having this ministry by the mercy of God. My friend, we have this man ministry by the mercy of God. We are sufficient not in ourselves. But man, you know, man, we are not sufficient in ourselves. We can't do this in the strength of the arm. But we have to do the ministry in the spirit and by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus, we do the ministry. We do the ministry unto the Lord. We do the ministry unto the Lord. There came a time in my ministry and, you know, it came to a, my title came to a close. And, man, I lived for that title. I thought that's what the ministry was, was my title. And I began, you know, I got discouraged. I began to lose heart because I got hurt or I began to get discouraged. I began to get weary because I wasn't doing the ministry anymore by the Spirit of God, but I was doing the ministry by the arm of the flesh. I began to just be lazadaisical in the ministry. I began to just, you know, go ahead and pray, you know. And it was taken away, amen, where it was... Or God did, God, God is the one who took it away. And I learned a very important lesson because I was, I was discouraged because my identity was in that ministry. My identity was in that title. My identity was there. But see, my identity is not, it was never supposed to be there. It was always supposed to be in Christ. In Jesus that's where I because when you have your identity in Jesus ain't nobody can hurt you ain't nobody can tell you you get offended it don't matter because your identity is not in that but your identity is in the Lord and no one can hurt and no one can lose heart when you're doing it for the Lord and you're doing it unto the Lord and it says man by the mercy of God man Thank, I think every morning I pray, man, thank you for your mercy. I don't deserve this. And though I don't deserve this, he still says I'm sufficient. He says, my sufficiency is not in myself, but my sufficiency. Maybe you feel this place, you're not sufficient to do the ministry. My friend, you're saved. You are sufficient to do the ministry. You may not feel like you are. Yeah, we, we're not. We're not worthy. But he is worthy, and he is the one who called us and appointed us. So be sufficient. You're adequate. You're able. You're enough to do the ministry. You're enough. This is the ministry of the new covenant. The new covenant. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Do ministry in the spirit. You'll bring life, amen. Do ministry in the spirit. And as I close with this, I want to speak a word of prophecy, amen. This is here in our pastor, and he says this in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. Write this down because this was being spoken. It's also referred to in Psalms, I think, 119. And it says this, and li- give me your ear real quick while you fall asleep, amen. It says this, it says, since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believed and so I spoke. We also believe and and so we also speak. Speak, speak the word, speak, minister. We are a covenant of the new covenant. Man, speak, minister, tell somebody, disciple somebody, man, speak, speak the word. Speak the prophet. Man, if we believe the word and we spoke it, man, now I believe it and I speak it, Pastor. I speak it. I speak it over my life. I speak it over the ministry. I speak it over our church. We speak it. And so as we all stand this evening, you know, the heart of the ministry is that we do it in a new spirit. That we do it by the spirit. You know, the book of Acts is really called the book of the the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's, it's the book of the acts of the Holy Spirit through the apostles. 
And then we do it by the Spirit, guys. We do it by the Spirit of God. No more, we don't do it under the old covenant no more. We don't do it by the letter of the law, but we do it by the Spirit. And where the Spirit is, there is freedom. And not freedom to do what we want to do, but freedom in the Lord. Freedom, that, man, to see people set free, to see things fall off of people's lives. That's the freedom we're talking about. Not to run wild, not to act crazy, but it is to, man, see the, the, the lost one and to be ministers of this new covenant as we all stand. And I want to get into a, some prayer right now. As we get into prayer, I want to open these altars. You know, I, I, I wanted to pray for those that feel called to the ministry. Come up here. I want to I also pray. Let's pray and let's see God. Maybe you've been doing it by the wrong spirit. Maybe you've been operating in the old covenant. Maybe you've been maybe, maybe you've been hurt. You know, I don't know how many people are going to come ever, but that doesn't matter. But let's get restored tonight. Let's get let's get healed tonight. Let's man, let's do this in the right spirit. Amen. Let's do this by the word of God because man, there is going to be freedom when we surrender to God. And so tonight, as they begin to play and sing, and you've got to come up already. But let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray for the heart of the ministry. How we do ministry. Man, that we, God will give us a heart for ministry. Maybe you've been broken, broken a minute, but begin to pray right now. Come on. Let's begin to pray that the Spirit of the Lord is going to give freedom right now. We pray right now that healing will take.